suggest that she's going to get a Barack Obama turnout among African Americans? I don't think that's going to happen. You have a Washington Post ABC News poll where they took out 8% of the vote because they didn't like the way it voted. Look, I'm, I've been around long enough. I remember when the Detroit Liberal newspaper on the Sunday before the election said John Engler would lose by 14 points. He won the governorship that year. Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't take the, I don't take polls as seriously as people who've never run for office. But your candidate, I can tell you. your candidate loves them and has touted them from the beginning. And he's been behind in virtually every one of the, out of the last 40 polls that we've seen over the past right. month. That's the reality. Look, if you want to assume the election's over, skip the next two weeks and we can talk about the future. I'm not assuming Fine. anything. I'm, I'm, just, I'm asking you whether you believe right. your candidate's behind based on these numbers and what I, it I says about the, the down ballot races. I believe the odds are at least one in three and maybe better than that. But the difference in intensity and the difference in determination and the degree to which Hillary Clinton is clearly the most corrupt, dishonest person ever nominated by a party all mean that the odds are pretty good she's not going to win. Mm -hmm. Now, I actually believe that. This is not just because I'm for Donald Trump. I actually believe the American people so let me, let are me ask sick you about that. by this. So she, sure. let's assume she is corrupt, right? She was Fair just sense. as corrupt three weeks ago and three months ago, and she... She would have been corrupt and collapsing physically on September 11th of this year. And her poll numbers tanked. But then you know what happened. He had a rough first debate. He took the bait on Alicia Machado. He stayed in that trap for a week. The Access Hollywood tape came out, which was not produced by Hillary Clinton. That was Trump on now, camera talking yeah, about yeah, running women. Look, I just heard you go through this with, with, with uh, Governor Pence. I get it. I know where you're coming from. Let me point out something to you. Sure. The three major networks spent 23 minutes attacking Donald Trump that night and 57 seconds on Hillary Clinton's secret speeches. You don't think this is a scale of bias worthy of Pravda and Izvestia? I mean, you want to know why Donald Trump's had a rough if time? If Trump is I a mean, sexual predator, that he's is... He's not a sexual predator. Okay, you that's your opinion. That. I'm you not taking not a position. You defend that I'm, statement. I'm, I'm, now, I'm not sick and tired of people like you using language that's inflammatory it's not true. Excuse me, Mr. Donald, Speaker. Donald, Donald you have Trump no idea whether it's true or not. What we know is that neither, there are at least... Neither do you. That's right, and I'm not taking a position on, on it. Well, yes, you, you are. When you use the words, you took a position. So that what I said is... It's very unfair of you to do that, Megan. Incorrect. I think that is exactly the bias people are upset by. I think that your defensiveness on this may speak volume, sir. No, what I said let me just is... If, to you. No, no, no. Let me make my point, and then I'll give you the floor. Oh. What I said is, if Trump is a sexual yeah. predator then it's a big story. And what we saw on that tape was Trump himself saying that he likes to grab women by the genitals and kiss them against their will. That's what we saw. Then we saw 10 women come forward after he denied actually doing it right. at a debate to say that was untrue. He did it to me. He did it to me. We saw reporters. We saw right. people who had worked with him, people from Apprentice, and so on and so forth. He denies it all, which is his right. We don't know what the truth is. My so, point to you so. is as a media, as a media story... We don't get to say the ten women are lying. Oh. We have to cover that story, sir. Oh, sure. Okay, so so it's worth 23 minutes of the three networks to cover that story. And Hillary Clinton in a secret speech in Brazil to a bank that pays her 225000 saying her dream is an open border where 600 million people could come to America. That's not worth covering. That is worth covering. When you covering. want to go back and through the did. tapes of your show recently, you are fascinated with sex and you don't care about public policy. Me? Well, that's really? what I get out of watching you tonight. You know what, Mr. Speaker? I'm not fascinated by sex, but I am fascinated by the protection of women and understanding okay. what we're getting in the Oval Office. And I think the okay. American voters would like and to know. And therefore, we're going to send Bill Clinton back to the East Wing because, after all, you are worried about sexual predators. Yeah, listen, it's not about me. It's about the women and men of America. And the poll numbers show us that the women of America, in particular, are very concerned about these allegations and in large part believe that they are you, a real issue and you don't comment, dismiss you the women on whether the Clinton, summarily. Do you want to comment on whether the Clinton ticket has a relationship to a sexual predator? We on the Kelly file have covered that story as well, sir. I will now tell you the I use the words. I want to hear you words. Bill Clinton sexual predator. I dare you. Say Bill Clinton sexual predator. Mr. Speaker, this we've covered. Disbarred by the, uh, Excuse by the me, Arkansas sir. bar. Disbarred by Excuse the Arkansas me. bar. $850,000 penalty. Excuse me, sir. We on the Kelly file have covered the Clinton matter as well. We've hosted Kathleen Willey. We've, we've covered the examples of him being accused as well, but he's not on the ticket. 
And the polls also show that there'll the American new, public is less interested swing. in the deeds of Hillary Clinton's husband than they are in the deeds of the man who asks us to make him president, Donald Trump. We're going to have to leave it at that. And you can take your anger issues and spend some time working on them, Mr. Speaker. Thanks for being yeah, and here. And you too. And you too. You too. So we're taking your thoughts on that. Facebook.com slash The Kelly File. As we get into the home stretch, a high-ranking retired commander is taking part in a brand new ad for Hillary Clinton. Four-star General John Allen is here next to explain why he made the decision he did. Plus, a new WikiLeaks dump of Clinton emails is creating serious new questions about whether President Obama lied to the American people about what he knew and when. Mr. President, when did you first learn that Hillary Clinton used an email system outside the U.S. government for uh, official business while she was Secretary of State? Insult women.